This is review of the Dell XPS 13. The Dell XPS 13 has solid performance and long-lasting batteries, not to mention a design that's hard to beat. Unfortunately, the sound quality isn't great, and it's expensive. The Dell XPS 13, 2020, is a great laptop in the XPS series. It's awesome. XPS 2020 is a nice update to the XPS line, which has been one of the best laptops for a decade, as it adds an innovative webcam and thinner bezels to the XPS lineup. Starting at $1,249, $1,399, $2,499 Australian dollars, the Dell XPS 13 9300 includes an Intel Core i5, 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB SSD. Besides getting a 1080p display, you'll also have to pay extra to get touch. If that's not enough, you can get a better display and more powerful hardware on the new Dell XPS 13. Our review model costs $1,749, $1,599, 3099 Australian dollars, comes with a 10th generation Core i7 processor, and has a touchscreen. The 1080p touchscreen doesn't appear to be available outside the US, though. Also, for $300 more, about $250, $500 Australian dollars, you can get a 2TB SSD and a 4K touchscreen for an extra $200, about $160, $330 Australian dollars. With everything added up, that's $2,249, about $1,850, $3,720 Australian dollars, for a Dell XPS 13 9300. The Dell XPS 13 is a gorgeous laptop. At just 0.58 inches, 14.8 millimeters, thick at its thickest point, this laptop is extremely thin, too. It weighs just 2.8 pounds, 1.27 kilograms, and is extremely light. So, you can just throw the Dell XPS 13 in your backpack and go. In our testing, we didn't actually put it in our backpack, because of the social distancing. With a 1080p touch display, the Dell XPS 13 has one of the brightest, most colorful displays we've seen in a while. We're not sure what the point is in getting a 4K display in a 13-inch laptop. The laptop was set to 50% brightness for its battery test, and we left it there. When I took the laptop out of its box it was set to 100% brightness, but it's more than bright enough for our work at 50%. The Dell XPS 13 is part of the Dell Cinema program, which delivers pristine video and sound quality for people who like to watch a lot of content on their laptops. On the Dell XPS 13 display, everything simply looks amazing. The sound, though, isn't there. I'm guessing that these speakers are good enough to watch a quick YouTube video or binge some Netflix in the middle of the night when you can't sleep. The speakers aren't going to cut it if you want to enjoy your media. Even when the giant demon thing bursts out of the castle in Asgard during the last action scene in Thor Ragnarok, the sound is a mess. One of Marvel's biggest scenes sounds boring on the XPS 13. Watch your movies on the XPS 13's gorgeous display with some good headphones, please. Dell's XPS 13 is definitely guilty of cutting down on ports in the name of portability. There's two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a micro SD slot, and a headphone jack. And that's it. Obviously, that's more than most other laptops on the market these days, and there's no space on it for more, so you'll just have to deal with it. With the Dell XPS 13, you can do lightweight computing and look cool at the same time. Overall, it's a good laptop. It's a great piece of kit, but Dell should take audio more seriously. There's plenty of power here to power you through most mundane computing tasks, but it might struggle with heavy workloads like video editing. However, there is one thing that makes Ice Lake stand out, the GPU. Dell XPS 13 might run some eSports games at 720p, but we aren't really expecting Doom Eternal PC performance from this laptop. Another interesting story is raw CPU performance. It's more focused on media consumption than raw performance, like Comet Lake. Cinebench and Geekbench score a little lower than 8th generation models. Amazingly, however, there is almost no heat transfer to the keyboard or trackpad. Although the bottom of the trackpad does heat up quite a bit when it's working hard, the keyboard feels just as cool after 8 hours as when we open the laptop up in the morning. The Dell XPS 13 is a great laptop, but because it's portable, you'd expect it to have a long battery life so you can carry it around without worrying. I think the XPS 13 does a pretty good job. Dell XPS 13 battery lasted a respectable 9 hours and 40 minutes in our movie test, and it lasted just under 6 hours in the PC Mark 8 battery test. The Dell XPS 13 isn't bloated with unnecessary software because it's a flagship. There are, however, a few pieces of software that make life easier. Dell Cinema Guide is one of the most unique pieces of software here. It's a software update assistant and customer service app. You can basically watch everything from all your streaming services under one app, and search through all the collections at once. It's not the most important software, but it's still pretty cool. 
The Dell XPS 13 also has both versions of Windows Hello, a fingerprint reader that doubles as a power button and an IR-capable webcam to let you log in.